Hi everyone, I'm sick with COVID at the moment, uh, but luckily I did film uh, a bit more of the series before I got ill. Uh, so this video and the next one will take you through up until that point. And as soon as I'm recovered, I'll finish off the series. Take care everyone. So I'm using heat to pre-bend these laminations because they're sporting, they're a little bit delicate. So if I can pre-bend them before gluing up and trying to bend the whole curve, I think that'll really help. Spraying a little water on first can help as well. I've got my form all finished here. I've faced it with some cellophane tape. I've also put cellophane tape down on the base here where the edges of the lamination is going to be. I'll give it a quick spray with some camellia oil. Just so it uh, releases a lot easier. And I've got my cools all ready and they've been covered with cellophane tape as well. So I'm all ready to go. My um, laminates which you saw me bending, they're almost the right shape and I have bent them all individually and they go the whole way. So we, all we have to do now is glue those up and we can clamp them on the form and hopefully it will stick roughly in the same shape. I'm lining up the middle of all the laminates with the middle of the form. And then we'll start going round from side to side. Now let's leave that to dry for 24 hours. So it's 24 hours later, let's have a look and see whether that bent lamination has stayed together. Well I said this was a bit of a risk doing this with sported wood, so uh, let's just see what happens. There we have a bent lamination. Seems to be staying almost entirely to shape, so I'm quite pleased with that. So the first thing to do is to remove any excess glue, any slight misalignment of the laminations. There's one that's slightly higher than the other two, other three. Check that for flatness. <coughs> also check it that it's square to the bench, which it is. Hope you can see that. Should be all the way around within, you know, a fraction. And then I can deal with the width of it. 
that wants to be consistent. Because I've cleaned it up, I know it's slightly less than uh, the other board. So what I can do is maximize this and then plane the straight board down to the same thickness. Don't forget to share my videos, it's the only way other people will find out about them. And if you want to make sure and see the next episode, then do ensure you're subscribed and you've ticked the notification icon. Cheerio!